Peace, it's David, back for day six of the vlog. Sorry I missed you guys yesterday. Um, life just got a little bit crazy, didn't get the video shot, but like I always tell all my clients, you need to remember that consistency does not mean perfection. You're gonna miss some days, it's okay. The key is to get back on track as soon as you possibly can, which is why I'm back here with you guys today to tell you about how the Kido Diet's going. So, I'm uh, still stuck to it. Um, like I said, a lot of stressful things have happened in the last few days. As a general rule of thumb, I tell people, if you're going to do a strict diet, you want to do it during a non-stressful point in your life. Now, there is an exception to that where certain people who when they're going through stressful situations are looking for something that they can exert control on. Sometimes strict dieting is helpful because you can control that a lot more. Uh, for example, for me right now, there's some things I can't control, but like it gives me a feeling of like relaxation and peace when I control my diet, which is something that I'm very good at. But also remember that I've practiced dieting for years and years and years and I'm very good at sticking to a diet and not cheating, which is a skill that takes some time to develop, because I've just been doing this for almost 20 years of like off and on different diets, experiment with different things, so take that into account. Uh, energy levels are going down steadily. Like tiredness, the brain fog isn't as bad, but the energy levels are going a lot down. One of the things I was thinking about is that it might have something to do with the fact that I'm kind of a bigger guy. I'm about 90 kilos, 200 pounds, and not really so fat. And when you're bigger, it means you have more muscle tissue, which means your body can hold more glycogen. So it's possible I just have lots of deep glycogen stores inside my muscles that my body's been burning through, which is why I'm still not in ketosis, and my energy levels are going down. But again, this is pretty normal. They say for getting over your initial keto flu symptoms, getting adapted to using fat as energy, and for getting into ketosis, it is very normal for it to take two weeks to a month, you just have to be patient. But it's important that you don't cheat on the diet because again, those extra carbs then set you back and it gets hard to get into it. Uh, the big thing is, is that I got my first Shabbat on the diet coming up. So I plan on doing some cooking a little bit later on today to get ready for that. Um, a lot of, some of the recipes I've tried during the week, like I tried making these gummies that just involve gelatin, um, sugar-free drink, like um, not just like all natural, but like with artificial sweeteners and artificial flavors. And the crackers that I made a few times that I enjoy a lot, I'm gonna try also a garlic dip. And then other than that, lots of vegetables covered in oil and lots of meat and see how it goes. So hopefully kind of the excess in calories, I tend to eat more in Shabbat than other days, helps bring my energy levels back up and help my body figure out how to use fat as fuel. And I'll check in with you guys next week. Shabbat Shalom.